Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, I wanted to do a follow up on my vlog setup, the cheap and dirty under hundred pound um, camera and audio on your helmet. Now, the reason this works so well for me is because I wear many different helmets, so I don't really want to be tied to one helmet where you, you know, put a GoPro on the front and all your audio all in one. So having a separate system really works well. So what I do is I have a session, nice, cheap, under a hundred pound camera mounted to my helmet. I have it on the side because it's a small session with uh, the GoPro mounts. Could mount it at the front, mount it where you want, loads of videos on that. The key to this system is the iPhone cable and more importantly using just a microphone and cutting off the headphones. So I'm going to show that in a second with close-ups on how this works. So what I do is basically cut off this headphone piece here and that leaves you with one long cable. Mount it on the left hand side of your helmet because usually your Napoleon pocket is on the left and what you want, lightning jack into your iPhone, into your Napoleon pocket, the microphone is in your helmet, you've got one cable coming down. What you've got is audio from the phone and then video from your GoPro or other action camera. Within your video software, that's where you stitch them together. So what you're gonna need for this is a spare iPhone cable that you want to cut. Um, the reason you want to cut it is to get the low profileness. If you keep the earbuds, they're going to get in your way and really you don't want earbuds, you know, putting your helmet over it, it does hurt. You know, you want something a bit more specialist. You're going to need some Velcro. Uh, the Velcro just makes it easier to mount it inside the helmet and remove it if you don't want. I normally just wrap the cable up and hide it, which you'll see on the close-ups, but the Velcro gives you an option again to remove it. And if you did only have one of these iPhone uh, cables to which I've got loads and you can buy them cheaply online but you can then move it from helmet to helmet obviously you're gonna need scissors scissors to cut um, everything put it all in and a dead cat this is called um, not sure if I trust the dead cats um, but a lot of vloggers do so we'll go buy uh, their ideas on that so um, I'm gonna flip now to the close-ups showing how I'm going to mount this on the inside cheek of my Rurock Atlas uh, Ronin helmet. Okay, so here we have a close-up of the iPhone bud, and what I've done is cut just above the microphone. Word of uh, advice here is get some sharper scissors, as you can see, uh, struggling a bit with mine there. So cut just above, and uh, then cut the whole other earbud off at the join. And so what you'll be left with is just one great big long cable with the microphone on the end. The button will still be clickable. So when you are mounting, make sure that you don't put too much pressure that the button remains on. Otherwise you're gonna have Siri activated full stop. So you can see here, no earbuds anymore, just a straight through um, cable. And now here we're putting the Velcro in the helmet. So what we do is just lift the cheek pad up and slide under. I have the smooth part of the Velcro here because if I do take the mic out, the last thing I want is the spiky Velcro rubbing me in the face. Get enough of that with the dead cat, which we'll come to later on. So here's the spiky Velcro. You have two options here. One is to just wrap it around the top and the bottom. And like I say, be careful when wrapping it around that you don't wrap too tight, engaging the button. Um, handy thing to note is when you have it in your helmet, you can actually press the button for Siri or shout hey Siri and get it activated. Now I, in the end I actually went with a straight option rather than on my other helmet, the HJC I had it wrapped around. On for the Rural Rock, I've just literally put it at the back of the microphone and that seems to be working fine. So you can see it here in the helmet now, the, uh, the Velcro is just engaging and it's tucked just, just in half in the cheek pad, half out. And now here, all helmets are the same. This isn't just to rural rock, but if you feel around, you'll be able to lift up a lip of rubber. Um, so if ever you're installed in a comms unit or what have you, you can just lift that rubber up and it's great to hide that iPhone cable you see. And here we have a big dead cat. Now, 
I bought this big one that goes over a microphone boom. I would advise actually buying the smaller lapel ones. Um, you can see here I'm cutting off um, to suit the size I need, but it sheds to hell. Um, I mean, the smaller lapel ones, probably um, a bit easier, um, less faffing around. But just cut it down to the size you need. Um, you'll be surprised if you've got the big dead cat like me, you'll have to cut quite a bit off and then you need to just sort of stroke it to get all the shedding fibers off. Um, with the dead cat, it can tickle your face in the helmet. Um, so this is why I'm not 100% convinced on it, um, but you do need something to stop the puckering. You can see here, it does take up quite a fair bit of space, but it completely covers up the microphone. And if you're not running the chin curtain, it's stopping the wind from coming up and blowing against that microphone. And so there you have it, one helmet with a microphone cable installed and then you would run your action camera alongside and in your video editing software, stitch it together. If you want to know how it sounds, just uh, click some of my videos and you'll be able to hear. Thanks for watching.